Oh, look, is that you? Yeah, that's me. How can you do that so easily? Can you teach me? Of course I can. Bottle flipping is an activity popularized in 2016 via YouTube. Bottle flipping involves throwing a partially filled water bottle such that it rotates in the air, and the goal is to make the bottle land upright on its base without falling over. Whether the bottle can land upright appears quite random at first. However, there is actually a surprising amount of science underlying the bottle flip that can significantly increase your chances of successfully landing a bottle flip. When you flip the bottle, you are giving it rotational motion. We can explain the rotation of the bottle by a physics concept called the moment of inertia. Moment of inertia? That sounds like you need a PhD to understand it. It may sound like a fancy term, but the moment of inertia is simply the resistance of an object to rotation. It is determined by the distribution of mass throughout the bottle. The more distributed the mass is, the higher its moment of inertia. Let's use the bottle as an example. Originally, all of the water is concentrated in the bottom of the bottle. This means that the bottle's mass is not distributed, giving it a low moment of inertia. Because its moment of inertia is low, the bottle's resistance to rotation is also low, allowing a faster initial rotation speed. However, while the bottle is rotating in the air, the water splashes around inside the bottle. This way, the mass in the bottle is more distributed, increasing the bottle's moment of inertia mid-air. Hence, the bottle's resistance to rotation increases, making it rotate at a slower speed. The bottle's rotation slows down as it reaches the ground, increasing the stability of the bottle's landing and ultimately increasing your chances at landing the flip. What technique should we use to flip the bottle? You should hold the bottle by the cap, because it will allow for finer motor control, so your fingers can control precisely how much force to put into the bottle. This makes your flip more controlled and consistent, further increasing your success rate. When you toss the bottle, your goal is to slow the bottle's rotation down when it lands. There are two ways to do this. First, you can use a short and quick flipping movement to force the water around the bottle quickly. Thus, the moment of inertia of the bottle increases rapidly, thus slowing down the rotation of the bottle. Alternatively, you could also toss the bottle higher, so that the rotation of the bottle is slow the entire time the bottle is in the air. Why does the water bottle have to be partially filled and not empty or full? If the water bottle is empty or full, there is no movement of water in the bottle to increase its moment of inertia. However, a partially full bottle will provide the water room to distribute. Therefore, the rate of rotation of the bottle will decrease mid-air, making the flip significantly easier. Will I be able to guarantee a bottle flip by using this strategy? Not necessarily. You can't control the exact force you apply on the bottle every time, so you cannot guarantee how the bottle will land. However, these strategies will certainly make a successful flip much more likely due to an optimal setup and technique. Very interesting. Can we see this science used in our everyday technologies? Absolutely. The same principle of stabilizing the bottle using rotational mechanics is also used in many significant ways in our technologies. Take, for instance, the gyroscope in your smartphone. This tiny sensor measures your phone's rotation. The gyroscope is responsible for measuring your phone's orientation and makes it be able to do things like rotate your screen's display. It also enables your camera to take high quality and stable images because it can detect unwanted movement and thus adjust the camera accordingly. Are there any wider applications of this technology? Of course there are. Gyroscopes are essential components of aircraft and spacecraft. These systems allow aircraft to navigate accurately over long distances by determining the position, velocity, and rotation of the aircraft. Without such technologies, air travel would be significantly more expensive, if possible at all. 
and many space exploration and research missions probably wouldn't have happened either. On the ground, stability control systems in vehicles also use gyroscopes to improve safety in vehicles. If the vehicle begins to lose control due to a slippery road, for example, the gyroscopes will detect a loss in balance and intervene by applying brakes and reducing engine power to maintain stability. This has undoubtedly prevented many traffic accidents. That's really interesting. Thank you, Luke, for your sharing today. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye.